All right, so the Paw Mods are done and it's time to share them and unveil them to you. They're not really big deals, but I, I did some things and I'm gonna explain to you how, why I did them and uh, I'll show you how they were done. So if you have an idea of doing something like this yourself, if you know how to weld, you can actually weld this together. Now, I did not weld this. I don't have time for this kind of stuff right now. I don't have the place to do it. So I had it done. It cost a few bucks, but I think in the long run, it's gonna pay off. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, so when I bought my plow, and in order to try and keep the weight light, I, I just stuck with a straight plow. I probably could have put uh, something like maybe a V plow or something. And on hind thought, I probably should have put a V plow because watching some of the guys plow with them, I, I'm kind of like really liking them. But that's neither here nor there. What I did do is had these side panels, end caps uh, made to fit the plow. And this is a common fabrication. A lot of the old uh, guys with their uh, straight blades will put these on to catch the snow uh, to stop the spill off. And they really do and they work well. If you have a straight blade, strongly suggest that you get something like this. Unless you do a lot of wind drawing where you're throwing the snow off to one side. But even still, these come off very easy. I'm not going to remove the whole thing, but I'll show you really quick how these were manufactured so that if you decide you want to do something, you have an idea of how it was done. All right, so the first thing that they do is they actually drill holes into your plow. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I wasn't too happy about that, but it has to be done. So they drill in two holes and they mount this bracket here. Of course, this bracket is, uh, has a attachment here to anchor this side, I don't know what the hell you call it, part of the post that holds the side on. What do you really call it? <laughs> Anyways, normally you will find a pin that will go through this hole with a cotter pin on the bottom to make it a quick release. Now he told me he put the nut and bolt on here because he had some problems with other customers that they'd go out plowing and then all of a sudden the, the snow would come up, break the pin off or the cotter pin and then the pin of course would just pop right out the next time you push snow. I hadn't heard of that but you know there's also these side pieces here and they're to help take the pressure of you hitting anything or pushing on something to keep it steady and not bending backwards. Let's take a look at the back. And those brackets that are on the front are mounted with just a simple nut and a washer on the back. Now, all right, now if it was just a, a pin with a cotter pin on the front, I had them make it like this so that all I'd have to do is remove this pipe and this here will come off. I'll probably have to give it a good shove, which I'm not gonna do now because I don't wanna spend a half an hour trying to put it back on myself. But basically, that's how it's done. And you keep these in because of course if they're sticking out you'll catch something with it you don't want that and these are just mounted uh, to this panel here through these two screws uh, through uh, with nut bolted to the uh, steel here very simple design nothing great about it welded a couple of pipes fit the pin through and it's all done now let's take a look at the back drag all right on the back drag we added a teflon blade we attached this to the uh, to the actual back drag we already had installed. Because we ended up getting some customers that have the uh, Unistone driveways and having just the steel on that, grating against it to back drag out uh, would have just made a mess of their stone. Now, of course, you can't push uh, Unistone, uh, your blade over Unistone, because you'll probably end up ripping them off. Back dragging, probably even with a Western probably the, the angle of the plow for back dragging is too aggressive. So it'll, it could pull up stones. So having the Teflon, it'll ride over them and it won't mar them. It'll actually wear this down. Now this piece of material cost, I think it was about $145. The installation of course is really simple. Just drill some holes, match them up to this and you can install your next one. I had them installed as well. They had doing some of the other work. Like I said, it's probably lasts for maybe a year. I just used it once and there's already a little bit of a wear on it. But I also had them do something else. A little pin here, if you see this little piece of steel right in here, well at every hinge point here, there's one of these little pieces of pipe and that's to stop the, the, the back drag from going flipping right up and becoming almost the same angle as the uh, trip blade. Because if you watch some of my other videos, I was just knocking myself senseless trying to figure out something to stop this blade from going up. So I asked him, I said, you want to take a look at it? This is the angle I'm looking for, you know? So I'll show you the angle it's at now, and I'll show you a cut from another video where it shows the angle without 
these modifications and you'll be able to see the difference. And I think this way, what we have here now will give us a much better scrape. All right, so you can see that's a much better angle than I had before. So I'm really thinking it's gonna scrape good. I did some like a little playing around when it snowed, we had like a couple centimeters fall and it did pretty good. I mean, I was, I was all right with it. I don't know how it's gonna do on harder snow, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Now, I wanna talk about the trip blade. So let's take a look at that. All right, now for the trip blade. Everybody's leaving comments, not, not maybe here, but other places. You gotta put a plate on your trip blade. I'm like, wow, really, you do? Well, you're gonna wear down your trip blade. You know how much they cost to replace? Wow, really? Oh, well, <laughs> I went and had these modifications and I said, you might wanna put a plate on that. He looked at me and he says, really? You wanna put a plate? I said, yeah, cause I don't wanna wear it down. Well, he says you can, but you probably don't wanna do that right now. I said, well, why not? He says, because it's too long. So actually you have to wear these down a bit before you put your blade on. So you could probably wear it down to about here, an inch and a half, maybe two inches, and then put your plate on. I went, when I was getting all this modification done, I actually went and looked at the new Fisher blades and the new Fisher blades only have this much of a trip blade. They don't have this. So in all actuality, I could go up two and a half inches before I have to put a plate on. The plates he has are six inches wide. And of course they bolt into the holes that are provided here. So to, I could put a trip blade plate on here and it will help to make the blade last longer, keeping it at this length. But I'm gonna run it this winter without any trip blade. So don't ask me why there's no trip blade because I made a video of it and you should have watched it before you made the comp. <laughs> but that's why. So we're gonna let it go this year and then we'll see how it is and then maybe we'll start putting um, a plate on it to try and keep everything uh, nice and uh, sharp and everything. So for, like I said, for this year, we're not doing it. That's why I was actually advised not to do it. And I had heard comments from other people that you're actually supposed to let it wear down a bit and then put your, your plate on it. So that's the down low on the trip blade, plate, protector, whatever you have, call it, whatever. Anyways, that's my plow mod, guys. Uh, I can't wait to try it out and to see how it works out in the real snow. I mean, two centimeters is not exactly anything to you know, write home about. So don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe, guys. All right, guys, well, that's the plow mods. It's a real quick, little short little video. Don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you've joined the channel because we've got a lot more coming. And if you just joined, there's a lot of other videos to go check out. So please go check them out. We got some uh, helpful hints to help you if you're just starting out. And they give you some little insight of what I've had to go through. So hopefully it'll help you avoid any nasty little surprises. My name's John, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.